everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I am very happy to see you here today and I hope you're all doing great even if we live in quite crazy and turbulent times for the moment. Today's video will be a highlight video for the country of Norway and to do this video I'm gonna use my crystal ball, my tarot cards, oracle cards and some dice. But uh, before we begin, I must thank you all, you wonderful viewers out there, for all of your support to this channel, for your lovely comments, for your sharing, caring, coffees, everything you do is highly appreciated and it helps a lot to continue doing more videos. And I also want to make a short uh, scam warning. This is because this channel and the Telegram group have been attacked by uh, scammers pretending to be me using my profile photo contacting people asking them for favors money and things like that i must uh, strongly say again i uh, don't contact you first i never ask you for anything i don't promote any products and i don't do personal readings in case you should uh, find a facebook account that pretends to be me or so on or somebody offering you readings in my name. That is not me, you will be scammed. And uh, you can only find me uh, through my Telegram group. And that is the link to the Telegram group is below and also the correct email address. And in case somebody contacts you with my profile photo on some YouTube, here on this YouTube channel pretending to be me, always check if it's the right ID number and my right YouTube ID is Tarot by Isabella 209. If it's not that number then it's a scammer and it is a scammer anyway because I never contact you and I never ask you for anything. So please be careful out there so you will not get scammed. And regarding the Telegram group, it's an international Telegram group. Telegram group. We communicate in English so when we post something it's in English and um, this is because for respect for all of the other members since uh, we are from many countries all around the world so everybody can take uh, part of important information you like to share. In case you post a video that is not in English uh, then it should have at least English subtitle and if you post something that is not in English it should have at least a short description what the post is about uh, in the title. Well, enough of that. Let's begin uh, with the reading for Norway. Well, I have some short facts here about Norway that I would, that I would like to read to you first. And these short facts, you can find them online. You just Google short facts Norway. And it comes a lot of interesting information and there is a lot of things to say about Norway and I will try to keep it short even if it's a lot and in case you should be interested in Norway you can always uh, look it up uh, online or in books wherever you want so now let's begin to uh, read some short facts and yes and I also have um, a map of Norway here in front of me and this is um, more for be able to pinpoint out more specific if I see some events going on. Uh, so this map will be here in front of me. But here are the short facts. Let's see what we can find. Uh, Norway is famous for its fjords, mountains, northern lights. Uh, and it's famous all around the world because of this. And Norway's coastline is one of the most beautiful and rugged in the world, with many astonishing fjords. And it spans over three seas, the North Sea, Norwegian Sea and Barents Sea. And uh, you can also explore this coastline uh, with a boat called Hurtigruten, coastal voyage. And Norway's population is over 5.1 million and the capital is Oslo. And the country was founded 872 AD. Uh, Norway is not a member of EU, but a member in EEA, 
which allows Norway to be a part of EU's market. And Norway is a part of NATO since 1949. Uh, a Viking became the first king of Norway. And he was called Harald Fairhair. This Viking warrior succeeded his father Halvdan the Black at the age of 10. One of the greatest Scandinavian warrior chief in his area. King Harald became the first king to claim sovereignty over all Norway. His son Eric I was named Eric Bloodaxe because he killed seven of his eight brothers. Humans have lived in Norway for thousands of years. In fact, we, there are early evidence that there were people working the land as hunters and fishermen at some time between 9500 BC to 6000 BC. Norway's country is ruled by a king, Harald V of Norway, and a parliament. This makes it a constitutional monarchy, like uh, United Kingdom. During the Second World War, Norway intended to stay neutral. In 1940, however, Germany invaded and occupied the country. A resistance was set up known as the Home Front, which fought against the occupation. In Svalbard, a group of islands that is a part of Norway, you can see polar bears in the wild. There are more polar bears living there than there are humans. Norway is one of the best countries for winter sports. It has won more medals than other countries in the Winter Olympics. The Nobel Peace Prize originates in Norway and is awarded by a Norwegian committee. committee. Mm -hmm. Around the time of summer solstice, the northernmost parts of Norway, when the days are longest, the sun doesn't set at all. Norway is home to the northernmost point in Europe, which is North Cape. At Christmas, the Norwegian government donates a Christmas tree to the United Kingdom. It stands in Trafalgar Square every year. This is in thanks for Britain's aid during World War II. The world's longest road tunnel is in Norway. And at an astonished 24.5 km long, the Lerdal Tunnel is the world's longest. Norway has a land border with Russia that is almost 900, 193 kilometers long. A little over 1,000 Norwegians can say they live in hell. The small vill village is within walking distance of Trondheim's International Port Airport and even has its own train station. While sushi is absolutely a Japanese invention, uh, they did not use salmon in the dish until it was suggested by a Norwegian delegation in the 1980s. Modern and ancient skiing were invented in Norway. Uh, but skiing goes much further back. An ancient rock carving at Rødøy in northern Norway shows that people used a form of skis to get around the Norwegian mountains as long as 4,000 years ago. Finnmark is home to the oldest preserved ski ever found at an incredible 2,300 years old. Uh, many Norwegian words include including ski and slalom originated right here in Norway. The cheese slicer was invented way back in 1925 by, by a Norwegian called Thor Björklund and has become a staple of all Scandinavians' kitchen and many others around the world. Oslo is Norway's most diverse city. Of the 648,000 people that live in Oslo, 190,000 were born to immigrants or are immigrants themselves. And 
that's nearly 30% of the city's population, compared to around 15% in the country overall. Uh, the largest ethnic minority in Oslo is Pakistani, followed by immigrants from Sweden, Somalia and Poland. Norway's oil and gas industry has powered the economy, but it doesn't power the nation's homes. Around 98% of Norway's domestic power usage is drawn from hydroelectric power plants. Norway is one of the world's best places to see the Northern Lights. Norway's rail journeys are voted the best in Europe. And Norwegians are pretty sporty people. With a spectacular winter season, it's no wonder that Norway holds the most medals of any country for the Winter Olympics. Yeah, that was some short facts about Norway. Now, Let's start the reading. And uh, for this I need to concentrate for a few moments on my crystal ball. And very, very soon we'll begin. Okay? So now I just concentrate. Okay, let's see what we can find for Norway. Um, the first thing I see is the capital, Oslo. And it could be that Sometime during this um, dark season, winter, early spring, uh, because it, it feels like it this year or beginning of the next year. Um, some big uh, event in Oslo. I see a lot of police cars, ambulances. Um, yeah. Um, could be that... Um, on the TV and radio, they uh, encourage people encourage people to stay at home. Something will happen that is quite dramatic. I cannot see exactly what it is. If you are close to the water, it's a little bit up, more on a hill. Um, could be explosion, could be a fire or something. Mm. Yeah, some quite strange things there. Let's see. Trondheim. Yeah. Something in that bay, big bay, in, around Trondheim. What is going on there? That could be that uh, a whale, yeah, big, big whale, somehow get lost in that area. And people will try to help this whale get out. Uh, of some waters here around Trondheim. Um, yeah, Norway is a part of NATO and um, since a long time ago. Here in the north close to the Russian border, border to Finland and Sweden, uh, some here up here. I see one kind of military, but it's like they have to go and they are replaced with another kind of military. 
symbolically it's like they're changing people with different uniforms mm. but they still pretend that they are the same military but they are not um, I, I would not call it mutiny but it's like they're taking over by something else And those that they are ta being taken over, they, I get quite the um, positive, good energy from those that will step in. And there will be some big activity around that border, very big activity in the northern, northern place here. A lot of, lot of military airplanes, heli helicopters, and uh, also I see military ships around that area. And they're gonna be an arrest in that area uh, of a, some kind of Finnish military person is gonna be arrested around this. And this Finnish military is, this person is one person, um, have done some quite treasonous things. And it, it's a he, he's he going to be arrested. Um, on the televisions in Norway and could be next year difficult to say time frames are very difficult um, I see news reporters uh, people that have been pushing a lot of propaganda they like gonna talk to the um, to the Norwegian people apologize for a lot of things and the Norwegian people are gonna be in shock very much in shock mm -hmm. there will be in the center of Norway around cannot pronounce those names Jolunheimen around that area Lillehammer, above Lillehammer. Um, they're going to build a new city. Uh, for some reason. Because I see a lot of houses and they're going to be built very quickly. Um, and a new city is going to be built there. Hmm. A lot of scandals is, will come out, uh, and this these scandals will be concerning very high level uh, financial people, yeah, bosses in big companies um, that moves billions and billions of uh, dollars. They're gonna be arrested. And I see like 10, 12 of them. Very famous people uh, in Norway. Not because famous like in movies, but famous for their names, for their family lines, for, for their wealth and their riches. Some of those, yeah, many of those going to be arrested and it's going to be uh, public. Some kind of terrorist attack will be attempted in Norway. 
but it will be stopped before it goes uh, very deadly or very ex extremely violent. Uh, this person is like very brainwashed, very disturbed person, not afraid to die for whatever reason. And I don't think that is in Oslo, it's in another town. More likely, around Bergen, there, Vos, Hammersberg, somewhere there. Could even be in Lillehammer. It's difficult for me to see. It's somewhere there in the center of the country. Mm. It's like he's paid his program to do this kind of um, horrible things, but he's under a microscope. So somebody has the eyes on him and he will be stopped before he can do a lot of damage. I'm not sure if it's next year or next year again. Um, prices in Norway gonna drop a lot. Also the taxes, everything, uh, the whole economy will be very different. You will get much more for the money. At the moment, um, it's very expensive to live in Norway. Everything is very expensive. Even if the salary is higher than other Nordic countries, still the prices are also much higher than in other Nordic countries. But this will change in, in the future. There will be a boost in the future and that is uh, not only the fishing industry but uh, the wool industry because there are a lot of sheep in Norway and um, the wool industry the wool from this sheep has a very good quality and it will be more encouraged to have sheep sheep um, and also sell the wool I see a lot of wool you can uh, do knitting and sweaters and things like that so norwegian sweaters and norwegian wool products uh, will in the future uh, be very mu much more famous and a lot of export on this on these products For a period of time, could be a couple of months, a couple of weeks, um, in Oslo, like in all capitals, um, they have a big building where the politicians gather and they discuss and yeah, whatever they discuss there. This building uh, will be empty, totally empty. No politicians at all. It's like Norwegian, it will not have politicians or leadership, it will be like empty, on hold for a couple of weeks or months, until could be new elections, something new will come in. But like almost all politicians gone. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Norwegian people, they know how to live on the land and um, they love their nature. How can you not love it? It's an astonishing, beautiful nature in Norway with a lot of wildlife and forests and fjords and mountains. It, it's breathtaking, beautiful. Um, more people uh, will seek themselves out from big cities for a period of time, but also in the future to try to live a little bit more uh, outside those big cities. Mm. A little bit back to basic.
the school system in Norway will change. Uh, it will be more in the future, I cannot say it's tomorrow or next week, it will be more things that the children have a need of. Also practical things. Uh, how to make a fire, how to fish, how to gardening, things like that. But also all the other uh, subjects, but different kind of things. Mm -hmm. It will come a time that many people, immigrants in Norway, will want to return to their own home countries. Because I see like the, uh, the amount of many immigrants in Norway will go down to half. Mm -hmm. Since a lot of immigrants would like to go back to their home countries like to go back, not forced to go back. They want it for, uh, by themselves. Because I see the airports full of people, happy people, and they're talking to each other, they're going home there, they're going back there. Mm -hmm. And also a lot of Swedish people w would like to return to Sweden. Yeah, so there are some crazy times coming up for Norway. Let's see if I can, f if I can find something more. Um, up here in the northern part, a military helicopter is going to crash. Mm. And that is not due to an attack on that military helicopter. It's some technical error. A yeah. um, couple of people will survive, but some unfortunately will perish. It will be a big scandal in Norway regarding the um, Nord Stream uh, pipeline sabotage. Yeah, and those that are involved will be brought brought into justice. Some kind of protest will happen in Norway, and that is uh, for people that are police officers, security work, uh, in, works in police, security, things like that. Could be even secret police. It's like they're laying down their weapons or their badges. No, we will not do this. Uh, some order they will have have uh, that they will refuse to follow some civil uh, you know what do they say in english civil disobedience mm -hmm. no we will not follow this Some quite turbulent times will come, uh, but that will not last for very, very long. Uh, it will be quite disturbing, it will be in nervous times, but when it's over, it's like no way uh, take a deep bath and come up again from that water clean and refreshed.
in the future, and that could be in a couple of years, there will not be so much hydro plants. Uh, the energy will come from a different source that doesn't affect nature in any way. There is a big storm coming in of those northern shores. Very, very big. Um, not normal storm. And this could come in winter time or the beginning of next year, beginning of spring. And it's so high waves, a lot of winds, as a very, very, very big, big storm. And I see a lot of ships that are fishing in, in those seas will have to return home to seek shelter in different kind of harbors. Uh, and even if they are there, a lot of ships going to be quite damaged due to that storm. And there was one ship outside. Buda? Buda. Mm. Somewhere there. Uh, they're going to go on ground. and um, But they're going to rescue the people on that ship. Mm. So but quite dramatic storm. And when th this happens, I can strongly recommend people not to go outside if it's absolutely not necessary, like a life-threatening situation. Stay at home because the storm is very dangerous that is coming. And it's not a normal storm. Even wild animals will seek themselves into people's gardens or sh seek shelter. Um, yeah, around in uh, close to houses. Mm. Because I see people giving them hay if it's deer, it's, well, yeah, elks and things like that. They're giving them food because those animals will, will be suffering. Mm, but there are big changes coming in the future, financial changes also for, for the country. And I see the people more relaxed when all this craziness is over. I see people more relaxed, more smiling, more hugging each other. Uh, regarding the castle and the king, um, it, it looks like it will be more like a museum than a king's home. And the king will be nowhere to see. I think some of his children uh, will sti still be there, but I don't see them in any high positions uh, in the future. Mm. Big changes. And in the future, the border between Russia and Norway will open up and there will be a lot of trading on that border. So a lot of people will make good business or yeah, will have a job to trade a lot of things here. And there will be some underground explosions like earthquakes also here in the northern parts. And that will affect both Sweden, Norway and and. Uh, Finland. And earthquakes around 4.65 on the Richter scale. And we go like a line. 
So one can imagine um, what what they are destroying below the earth. Then. Mm -hmm. But the Norwegian people will be sovereign, will not be involved in any military alliances in the future, will gain their power back from that. And all these billionaires and high position uh, rich people that are ruling the country, uh, really behind the scenes, they will be removed. And it will be more a country for the people and by the people. Okay. Well, that was what I could see in my crystal ball. Let's continue to the cards. Now I'm just going to take a couple of cards to see if there is any additional information to be said about Norway. This belongs here. some oracle cards And finally some dice. And the cards, they look like this. Well, in the cards, in the tarot cards, we have Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, the Ermite, and Six of Coins. In the Oracle cards, we have um, uh, we have um, Tomb, Pharaoh, Tomb, Desire, Discernment, Clear Vision, artistic expression and on the dice we have a um, slice of orange clamor a regret about and a speed meter in the future it will be given more funds to take care of elderly people families young people and the education will be changed because there are a lot of complaints about the education. It's not working as it should. It will be more um, accustomed to each child because every one of us are good on something or something is more interesting for us than something else and whatever that interest whatever we're good at that will be more 
encouraged and um, the whole educational system will be changed yeah uh, to be adapted more to um, the child or the young person mm. a lot of elderly elderly people will have it quite difficult with that change because they have lived so long on the certain kind of way, political way, governmental way, when that changes, it will be difficult for many people to adjust to that. But those changes are not for the worst, it's for the better, because they are gifts uh, for the Norwegian people. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people have desired, wished for, how they wished, wished to live but didn't have the possibility due to laws or strange laws or financial problems, many of those wishes will be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And there will be a lot of regrets uh, when truth finally comes up out uh, officially in many news and news stations and papers and so on. Uh, there will be a lot of regrets. Why didn't? Why could we not see that? Why didn't we act? Why didn't we do anything? But it's better late than never. Mm? And after those big changes, people will be more mm, suspicious. But they will take more action, and they will not allow uh, things to go back as it were before, because the new system, the new way of living that is coming, um, it will be so more beneficial for everyone, not only for a few, but for everyone. Mm. But the Norwegian people are strong, and they have fought back uh, during World War II, uh, with their resistance, and they are very brave people, and they will not allow uh, bad things happen to the country. No, so those changes that will come will be um, welcomed by almost everyone. Yeah, but not in a man manipulative way. It will be presented like the truth first, and then afterwards, this is what we can offer. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take some last cards for Norway. Is there any last words to be said about Norway? Three of coins, and for me, three of coins many times represents um, a lot that will be invested in new housing, new buildings, um, better buildings, affordable buildings. Mm. So many young people can get uh, their own apartment or house if they wish to have that and move where they want to. Um, so big efforts for building new homes for the people. Some last words for Norway. We have three of cups. Page of Wands, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Seven of Coins. Good times are coming that will be celebrated all around the country. And as I said, change in the uh, educational system. Mm -hmm. Different kind of education 
that will make people, especially the young people and children, very happy and content. There are so many lies uh, hidden everywhere in Norway. Lies about this, lies about that, lies about everything. Those lies are to be exposed. And we have the Ace of Swords, so it will be dealt with strongly. All those lies will be exposed and that will be difficult for people to hear about this person and this person and this person. But um, uh, what is hidden in snow will come out in spring. So when that snow smells, all that dirt, everything will come out. And it must come out. You cannot have a better society, a better country, if still a lot of rotten things spread their infection everywhere. So it will be cleaned out, as in most countries around the planet. Mm -hmm. But very happy times are coming. And there will be new prices, tobacco and alcohol, but lower prices. Those who want to smoke, they smoke. Those who want to drink, they drink. And the governor will not mix themselves so much in personal decisions, even if healthy living will be recommended. Yeah. Well, that was my reading for Norway. And to all of you beautiful, nature-loving, strong uh, Norwegian people, wish you all the best. Stay strong. Big changes are coming for your country. Uh, you have to be united for the best of your people. And even if there are shocking news coming up uh, about this person and that person, remember, uh, you really, I think you really want to have good people, clean people uh, ruling your country together with you that really works for the benefits uh, for the Norwegian people so there will be a lot of scandals a lot of cleaning up uh, will come and a much 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 better and healthier future is waiting for you and to all of you wonderful viewers out there thank you so much for watching and uh, hopefully we're gonna see each other soon again Bye-bye.